Hi crocheters of the world. In this tutorial we will work together on this lovely cropped blouse with the turtleneck. It's the first, I think it's the first blouse that I uh, I design with the uh, turtleneck. I don't know why, I love turtleneck but I, I don't know why it's the, just the first one. I love it. My favorite uh, stitch, which is jasmine stitch, uh, two beautiful yarns that I put together. Um, what what else I can say? It's like a uh, it's it's so light, it's so light and so nice and soft and chic and fancy and anything you want. It's not so I already designed the the first version of this one and you have at the end of this tutorial you have the uh, clickable end card so you can go ahead and watch that one too if you want uh, this one it's of course a little bit uh, I, I I put some something more in it and I modify it uh, but uh, that was the first version. I like to to come back to some of my projects that I really really love and to modify them in time and to um, come, uh, to come out with a new version with uh, but also from um, using that uh, that designs because some of them are are so beautiful at least for me uh, that. I just want to recreate them in, in a, a sort of way. So, this is it. This is the, the project. You can see the first version uh, of it that I worked in cotton and this one. So, it is really, really nice difference between them. But anyway, I, I uh, take uh, inspiration for... Uh, I took inspiration for that one. That's it. So, turtleneck, it's really, really easy. Uh, the only thing you need to know is how to crochet the jasmine stitch for that one. At the end, again, at the end of this tutorial, you have the clickable card, so you can just click on it and you will just have the uh, video of how to work the jasmine stitch. It's a lovely stitch. If you don't know how to work it, you have to... Um, you have to, to try it because, yes, it's not very, very easy, but it's... I'm in love with it. Uh, I use 6.5 millimeter hook, so it's something that you, you crochet in, in two days, let's say, two days. Um, it's really, really easy. It grows up very, very fast. And uh, I work with three balls of yarn, three and three. Three of Sakin, three of uh, the main uh, yarn, which is uh, Merino lace, which is Merino and mohair. Really nice. You can see some uh, color combinations here uh, if you want to choose our yarn. And you have the link below of our boutique. So, let's get started. So, let's see how to begin. It's the circumference, the um, hip circumference that you need, nice and large, so with, with lots of ease, this circumference, we begin with chain 4, yarn over 2 times for the triple crochet into the first chain, 1 is the cluster, so we don't want to close it, and the second, and now we will just close all together, like this, with a single crochet, okay? And we continue on with chain three, single, um, two triple crochet into the single crochet and single crochet to close. All together, pull through all and work your single crochet. And this is how you will continue on. Okay, now just to show you how to work the jasmine stitch in the round, I will work six. Okay, it's enough for me. 
and then we will talk about the measure the measurements so actually it's the circumference as i i said before the circumference of so the hip circumference sorry okay no that's it i already have four i will just go ahead and work one more uh two more sorry okay you need to know one more thing the clusters must be number in even number because we will divide them in two back side and front side for the upper part for the armholes okay that's it one two and three Mm -hmm. okay I finished and now what we need to do when we finish this part we will only have to take all our all our clusters and join them in round for the bobby part with a slip stitch obvious you join them in round and now you will just begin to work the first round with the solitary cluster always work the solitary cluster if you don't know how to work the jasmine stitch i don't explain it to you in this tutorial but you have it as a end card clickable at the end of this of this video okay so okay this is the solitary now i will begin to work my very first jasmine stitch uh, as many clusters we put as many jasmine stitches we will have because one jasmine stitch it is work ov worked over one cluster okay one two and This is the second, you know that we need four, uh, sorry, you know that we need three clusters to complete a jasmine stitch. The third always keep one horizontal cluster. Okay, this is my first one, one, two, and three. Okay, this is my first one. And now we will just join all together and we finish with a single crochet on the top. Okay, this is my first single, my first, sorry, a jasmine stitch. I will go ahead and work all around uh, five more. So as I said, for one horizontal cluster, you will have one jasmine stitch, one jasmine stitch. It is composed by three clusters worked together. Okay, we always finish a round with two clusters together. Why? Because the solitary cluster, which is the beginning one, is not actually that solitary because uh, with these two uh, together, comp uh, yes, uh, composed the um, last jasmine. Okay, so two join you will pull through all leave the loop from the hook insert hook into the single crochet of the solitary cluster now take again the loop on the hook and pull through from the back side now uh, the two ways are this first of all uh, first way to begin a new round is not to turn so you will just continue on like this you will have a front and the wrong side and you will just continue on like this. Each round, remember, begins with a solitary cluster and each round finishes with a uh, with two clusters together. Okay. Uh, for the second way of joining in the round is to begin by turning for each new round. Okay, now I will show you that and I will explain you the um pros and 
because they they are actually okay so this is the forest jasmine when you work like this you don't turn so you just continue on working through the left side okay you will obtain a very nice and um A smooth um, stitch okay and you will have a uh, front and the wrong side okay like this because this is this will be always the front side and this will be the wrong side now let me finish this and I will show you how to begin with uh, the second but let's say the problem is it is not a problem because you won't observe is that uh, the beginning and the end so the, the joining line will pend so when if you work like this will pend that's it no uh, nothing to do this is uh, what happens okay now let me finish this second row round sorry and I will show you the second way of joining and I will explain you which is better actually this one from my point of view this one is better okay this is the forest jasmine see you at the end of this round now the second way of oh, you will finish exactly in the same way you will chain three and turn so turn as if to work in row rows and you will have like advantage that you will have a joining line straight joining line okay but so you'll have a straight joining line but the jasmine stitch that is composed in two rows, two rounds, sorry, one will be uh, with the right side, one will be with the wrong side. And it is not that nice and smooth. So at the end, I suggest you the first way without joining and with the pendant line, pending joining line. So let me show you the difference between the two ways of working in round. So this part it is worked without um, turning and as I said it is nice and smooth. This one it is the part that uh, it is worked in rows because we create the uh, arm horse but for the sleeves I used the other way with turning and this is the result so as you can see it's more wavy it's not that nice and smooth effect so that's why um, I am uh, just telling you and showing you so you can decide which of these two uh, ways you want to choose but uh, anyway from my point of view this one is better without turning okay and the neckline i work it without turning okay now uh another very important thing in are the measures so mine i put 30 uh 30 now i just want to uh, write down 30 I am sorry so I put for the uh, to begin it's from my point of view the circumference the the hip circumference it is perfect because it must be nice and large and if you put the hips circumference it will be perfect because it is a craft um, blouse so will you will have this circumference the hip circumference into the uh, waist circumference I think it makes sense so uh, 30 30 clusters to begin okay and the, the length actually the width sorry the width 
is um, 105 centimeters working with 6.5 millimeters hook okay this is another thing that it's important the length is of 40 so from the shoulder uh, it's 45 centimeters okay so 30 clusters all around so 50 plus 50 uh, 15 plus 15 sorry so these are the lens it, mine is a medium size but of course it's you to decide it, it's really 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 easy uh, the rest of it you have it so for the armhole I, I left out about 18 centimeters so the rest it's really really easy you don't there's no need to to be afraid of let's 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 do it so i'm back i completed the in length the first part of our blouse which is the part that we worked in round the jasmine stitch now uh, i work nine rounds for a total of 27 centimeters but of course it's you to decide how long you want it to be with this part you must be uh, you must reach actually the the underarm okay now we will work we will open we will work a uh, back side and front side separately for the uh, upper part for the opening uh, for the armholes actually and I actually began here with one but it's really easy I have 30 a total of 30 jasmine stitches I began with 30 if you remember so I will work on 15 first of all I counted 15 um, horizontal uh, horizontal clusters because these are the the clusters as you know as I explained you before these are the clusters that give us the uh, number of stitches of jasmine stitches and I put a marker in so uh, I know where to stop and to begin uh, a new row uh, I will go ahead and work about six or seven uh, rows for a total of 21 22 centimeters uh, here it's a medium size you will work one row or two uh, plus if you want a larger size okay so this is mine I began here you begin exactly with the solitary uh, jasmine uh, with the solitary sorry uh, cluster and then with the jasmine stitches um, for the uh, jasmine stitch in rows I won't explain it here how to work it actually how to begin and how to finish the, the row at the end of this video you have the end card um, of the video where I explain step by step exactly the jasmine stitch so just go ahead and watch it uh, anyway uh, I will catch up you later when I finish the length of the armhole for the back side then I will show you how to begin the same thing for the front side and on the front side we will also work a small a little bit of a neckline and you will see it's so easy but so so lovely okay so this is my second jasmine stitch it grow up grows up so fast but uh, with this uh, two yarns together remains so so light and nice okay these are my jasmine stitches i finished the back side i worked six uh, rows and it's about 18 centimeters uh, 22 is too much 22 is for a raglan uh, I was wrong when I said 22 it's 18 it's perfect because it's only the circum the the um, arm circumference okay so it is perfect now just let me show you where you will begin the front side because now we need to work exactly the same number of rows for the front side so 
we will begin exactly where we, we began the back side. This is the solitary um, cluster that I worked into the first row for the front, for the back side. And it's exactly, it's exactly where I insert my hook, where I work it. And I will work the first solitary cluster for the first row of the front side. Now, work. I work six, I say, I said six rows. Work as many rows as you need for the back side. It must be half of the circumference of your arm. Of course, with ease. And for the front side, you will work three parts, okay? Three parts of what you worked, the, the number of stitches that you work for the back side. I work six, now I will work uh, four here, and then I will show you how to work the neckline, okay? will be an easy neckline, but anyway, I want to shape it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, this is my first jasmine. Now I will just continue on like this, working my jasmine stitches. Until I reach exactly here, I have to finish my last jasmine stitches. J jasmine stitch, okay? So it's exactly here. So I am back because I finished my four Row rows for the front side. You know, for the back side, I already completed my six, and I want to show you how to work the neckline into the last two rows, fifth and uh, sixth. So on the back side, I have fifteen, and uh, I left out four and four of these horizontal clusters. Four and four for the uh, shoulders, and seven for the neckline. So here I have the markers. Now on the front side, I worked one, two, three, and four, and the fifth will be a decrease. Okay, so we work one more, one that the number that we we left out for the neck for the um, shoulder on the back side, but with a decrease. Don't forget it. So this is the first. Now I go and I work the second cluster for my jasmine decrease, and there will be there will be four. Okay, but let me just show you how to work them. And this is the second cluster for my jasmine. The third, we skip one horizontal with the third, and we will skip one more with the fourth. Okay, and that will be our decrease. Okay, and to work the decrease, this is the one that we will skip. Now we will work. Uh, we will work a elongated uh, triple crochet. So elongated triple crochet. It's yarn over twice. Pull through one, and then pull through two, and pull through two, and we work only two. That's all. But pull, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. And now close all, as we know, with a single. Crochet. Okay, that's it. Here it is. This is my decrease. Now I will go back with the last row. I need six, and this is just one shoulder on the front side because it's the I'm working on the neckline. This is the second. Okay, this is the solitary cluster. And we will begin, so here we finished with a decrease, here we will begin with a decrease. One, two, three. This is the first one. Okay, now we go here where we worked our solitary cluster and we work 
one cluster. This is the second. Okay. Then we skip one and we work the third. And we need to skip one more and we will work the fourth exactly as we worked it before with the two elongated double crochets. Yarn over twice, skip one more. Here it is my elongated double crochet. One and two. Here we are. Perfect. And now I have three more to work. I will work them. One, two, three as like normal. One cluster, one cluster, then one more and then I will cut the yarn. This is my first sh uh, shoulder. I uh, finished my first shoulder and I must finish it with the same number of horizontal, crust, uh, horizontal clusters that I finished on the back side. So that I decide for the back side, of course. And this is how. So into the first row you will work one more. Can you see? This is my second. This is the decrease. It looks a little bit strange, but believe me, it will be just perfect. Okay. That's it. Now, let me just finish the other one, so the other two. I have two more to work. And then I, I will have my four. Oops, sorry, you don't see them. Then I will have four and I can sew them together for the shoulder. I will be back to show you how to work it on the other side. So I finished on one side and this is what I have. It looks so nice and pretty. And here I also joined the two shoulders back and front and I have it. Now on the other side I will skip I skipped one, two, three, four horizontals because now the rule is this one. You will decrease into your last two rows for the front la, front side necklace. Uh, uh, so, sorry, for the front side uh, neckline. And for these, you will work the last decrease, so you will begin uh, by working your four, your number, so the same number of the stitches of the horizontal classes that you leave le left out for the shoulder, back shoulder, you will work them exactly the same number uh, on the first row. Into the, but you will work one more, one more jasmine with the decrease. So actually you will skip two. Okay, with the decrease. So four in my case plus one with the decrease. Okay, if you have, I don't know, five, you will work five plus one with decrease. So this is the rule. And then, of course, you will decrease into the, the other row. Uh, on the other side, it's exactly the same thing, only that you will work on the contrary. Which means here we begin normally the row and we finish with an increase first row. Second row of decreases, we began with a decrease and then we work all. Here instead, we will begin the first row of decreases with a decrease. Here it is. I already did it because it's exactly the same thing. And we will finish the second row with a decrease. Okay, let me finish this and we will go ahead and work the sleeves and the neckline, the, sorry, the turtleneck. Okay, so let's see a little bit, just a little bit, I want to explain you how to work the sleeves because it's exactly the same thing that for the body. Only that, for the sleeve, I choose to uh, turn to begin a new round, okay, as if we work in rows. Uh, for the body, I just work in round uh, without turning um, to begin a new uh, round, okay? So here I begin underarm where we actually begin the two uh, sides, the front side and the back side, you know, into the same stitch here. I begin with the uh, solitary uh, cluster, then this is my very first um, 
jasmine stitch and now I go and work uh, in, in length okay so as long as you want your sleeve to be I I will work one jasmine stitch for each look at it this is horizontal cluster that we have all around actually we know uh, as uh, many as we leave uh, left out for the uh, uh, armhole I leave uh, left out se uh, 6 plus 6 so 12 so I will actually work 12 jasmine stitches okay for about um, 12 14 I, I don't remember I uh, yes don't remember now okay this is my second jasmine okay so I just go all around and work my jasmine stitches I just want to show you so you can choose to turn or you can choose to go ahead and work in round I will show you at the end of this round I turn this is my um, the sleeve that it is finished so it looks like this and it has a nice and large circumference because I just want it to be like that I didn't decrease just work in length the sleeve for the turtleneck you will work exactly the same so to work the turtleneck uh, I began on the back side but you must be just be sure that you are on the right side of your blouse so this is the right side you see it's nice and smooth and this is the wrong side so just be sure and another thing on the back side I have seven clusters and I will work jasmine stitches over these two clusters that I have here uh, where I in the two rows that I decreased on the back on the front side so two plus two plus seven are eleven and plus four that I have here on the front side are fifteen so on 15 jasmine stitches I will work okay uh, you will work it as, as long as you wish it to be so have um, a uh, have fun with this um, with this blouse uh, as much fun as I had uh, working it and uh, working on the tutorial it's it was really really cool for me so, bye.